The first big idea is this. Knowing Jesus is not enough. And you have to get that in your spirit because knowing Jesus is not enough. There will be people who say, Lord, Lord, I have prophesied in your name. I have cast out demons in your name. I have done many wonders in your name. I have served you. I have attended church for 20 years. How is it still possible that Jesus says, depart from me? I never knew you. That's something that you have to think about. Well, the reality is, is knowing Jesus is not enough. There are many people who know Jesus. There are people of all different religious backgrounds, people from all over the continent, all over this planet who know of Jesus. They have heard of Jesus. But see, knowing Jesus is not enough because knowing Jesus is not enough to change your character. Just because you know Jesus doesn't mean that you want to conform to the will of God. There are people who know Jesus who don't want no parts of what he's trying to ask us to do. There are people who know Jesus, but they don't love you. They still as mean as ever. They might sit at the first pew in the first row and still smirk on people and still be judgmental to people because knowing Jesus is not enough. So this is what you have to understand. Knowledge of Jesus is not the key to the gates of heaven. Just because you know Jesus don't mean he's going to open up and say, well done, my good and faithful servant. See, the worst thing that any believer, the worst thing that any churchgoer, the worst thing that anybody who acknowledges God wants to hear is, depart from me, I never knew you. This text is not so much about knowing Jesus. It's about Jesus knowing you. He doesn't say, depart from me because you didn't know me. He doesn't say depart from me because you don't know me. He said depart from me because I never knew you. So here's big idea number two. Knowing Jesus is not the same as Jesus knowing you. Knowing Jesus is not the same as Jesus knowing you. How do we know? Because we've already seen how Jesus talked to these men who said that they knew him as Lord. They acknowledged that he was the Messiah. They acknowledged that he was superior. They acknowledged that he was the master. They acknowledged that he had all power and all authority. And yet he still looks to them and said, depart from me. I never knew you. This isn't about you knowing me. See, too often do Christians think that because you know Jesus that you're good to go. This thing isn't about just knowing Jesus. It's about Jesus getting to know you. That's why you have to shift your relationship with God. Because you have to shift your relationship and position yourself in a relationship with God that's a two-way street. If you know anything about relationships, you'll know that relationships are two-way streets. You can't be 100% and the other person gives zero. If that's the case, that's not a relationship. That's just something that causes stress and anxiety and heartache and heartbreak. So you need to understand relationship first to understand your relationship with God. Relationship is a two-way street. Knowing Jesus is not the same as Jesus knowing you. Yeah, we all know Jesus, but the question is, does he know us? So let's first start with the concept of know, because Jesus said, depart from me, I never knew you. When he says, I never knew you, he's using the Greek term genosko. And genosko literally means to become acquainted with. It means to gain knowledge of someone through personal experience. It means to recognize or perceive someone. So what Jesus is saying is, he said, listen, you may have served me. You may have prophesied in my name. You may have casted out demons in my name. You may have done many wonders in my name, but I never became acquainted with you. I never got to know you on a personal level. You did these great things for me, but we never became acquainted. I never gained knowledge of you in a personal and intimate way. And therefore, I don't recognize you. The worst thing for you is to talk to God and God doesn't even recognize your voice. He doesn't recognize you. Why? Because you haven't talked to him enough. You got to you got to move past just knowledge of God to really drawing closer to God. And also recognize and being perceived by God. This is what you want to do to develop a relationship with God. You got to shift the way you see God and shift the way you see yourself in this relationship. 